All right, Tal Talia Cold, your art journey, learning, and how you realize what you really want to do. Well, that's a simple question. <laughs> Maybe Peter, I'll just let you do that one because we're, we're, we're talking for a long time. We have two more questions to go, so maybe we'll take turns now. What was your art journey, your learning, and how you realize what you really want to do? In 10 sentences. <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, uh, I, I don't know what the, when the first time I got a crayon in my hand was, um, but I never stopped. You know, I've just been drawing my entire life. So it's always been pretty clear what I wanted to do. Um, there's never really been much doubt. I Did think even when I was little and pretending doubt? to be a hockey player, I never really believed I was going to be a hockey player. Right. You know, it was always. Right. Well, the, I guess the only other thing is, is rock music. I mm. used to play in bands every bit as much as I drew. And the goal right. initially was to do both. Right. Um, and it, I had to choose eventually, and I chose the one that I was better at. So um, the journey, yeah, man, that's, that's, that's the art journey and life are not two separate things. Um, it's I think just, it's harder for the more talented people like yourself who can do both. Like I was kind of blessed and cursed with very limited talent. <laughs> so I kind of felt this is all I can do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. So people are like really high grades, great at sport beautiful they could be actors they go you know and they, they they have to decide if they want to be artists or not then there's those of us who just didn't really have much choice right well i don't know i don't know how good i, I never really tested how good i really was at music you know um i'm not sure i would have made it but uh it seemed viable for a while and there's no questioning how much i loved it yeah um, I miss I think it. it's the most important thing i think if you're thinking about realizing it's what you really want to do i heard advice the guy who ran Young Irish Filmmaker said it to a young person once about acting. And it was like, if there's nothing else you can do that you'll be happy with, then do it because it's a hard old, it's a hard old road to take. Don't That's, take it yeah. because it's easier than anything else. Every Everybody who's asking about working in art needs to hear that. That's a hundred, like, yes, thank you for saying so. It's the people who do art are generally speaking the people who will go nuts if they don't do it. And you, you, you have to have that, you gotta be so stubborn because there's so many different ways to fail and, and you will fail in, in numerous different ways as you go along and you just gotta keep doing it because you, you just need to do it. Um, and I've, yeah, I've always needed to make stuff and um, yeah, it, a lot of it's good luck too, as far as the journey, yeah. you know, oh. we're all born into <clears throat> circumstances that we don't choose and some of us are born into circumstances where it's easier and some are born into circumstances oh, yeah. where it's harder oh yeah and i got lucky man um so that's a big part of it too yeah me um, too i feel that too i was born at a time when it was possible to make a living at that i don't know how many of my ancestors could just as easily have done what i did but they just were in a time and place and socioeconomic right. circumstance where it just wasn't an option so that, that always fascinated yeah. me. I remember as a kid kind of learning about IQ and stuff and thinking how many people are living in harsh conditions in maybe a developing country that could be an amazing neurosurgeon, but they're just not even getting the opportunity yeah. to study. You know, so that always that's always been terribly unfair. I think it's why I've stayed very lefty in my whole life. So I've always felt that we need to equalize the opportunity for people. Um, but we're a long sure, way. From yeah. We should be grateful. Those of, I mean, you know, when you travel to the third world and you see somebody who's trying to make it there, do something there against all the odds, then my hat always goes off because they don't have all the, the, the privileges that's we right. have. And even, you know, even within within our own circumstances and our own corners of the world there's there's differences there too sure. some of them you notice and some of them you don't some of them are you know egregious inequalities and others are just kind of little bits of dumb luck mm -hmm. and well, yeah is, those all those all kind of of both you know white dudes relatively middle class i guess you know I mean, i'm conscious that you know there's a lot of uh, other inequality in the business mm -hmm. no doubt hopefully we're all working it, most people i know who are um anyway um of any kind of good character or working to alleviate that those inequalities as much as any of us can.